To find out what representatives are doing to ensure pro-life protections remain in the health care bill, let's talk to a member of the Congressional Pro-Life Caucus. Republican Representative Keith Rothfuss of Pennsylvania joins us now. Thank you for your time, Congressman. Good to be here today. House Republicans have introduced their plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. Congressman, you know well how Americans have been affected by Obamacare. Bishop Zubik's office is in your Pennsylvania district. As a reminder to our viewers, Zubik v. Burwell was the Supreme Court case challenging the contraceptive mandate. Congressman, tell us the impact you have heard and seen the Obamacare contraceptive mandate have on your constituents. Well, again, Bishop Zubik had to go all the way to the Supreme Court to protect religious freedom. And it wasn't just Bishop Zubik. It was Geneva College in my district. Uh, there was a requirement by the federal government that uh, entities, religious entities, would have to provide um, abortifacient drugs. Uh, it violated their conscience. They went all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, the Supreme Court deadlocked 4-4, sent it back for, to be resolved. Uh, we now have a new Secretary of Health and Human Services. I understand that this is still in litigation. My mm -hmm. hope is, is that there's going to be an accommodation uh, for religious charities and people who do not, want, do not want to have their consciences violated. That is an issue we are closely following here on EWTN. The new health care bill House Republicans put forward redirects Planned Parenthood funds to community health centers and contains protections to stop the funding of abortion. In your opinion, should this be a priority in the health care plan? Absolutely, it should be a priority. You know, an overwhelming majority of Americans, uh, regardless of how they feel about abortion, they do not think federal taxpayers uh, should be footing the bill for abortion. And nearly half of people who describe themsel themselves as pro-choice agree that taxpayer funding should not go to abortion. We know that there have been health plans through Obamacare that that pay for abortions, and federal tax dollars have found their ways into those plans. We cannot let that happen. There has to be a bright line where not one federal dollar is going to go to to uh, help provide an abortion or to organizations that promote abortion. Now the reconciliation process makes it tricky for these pro-life protections to carry over into the Senate version of the bill. So what are Republicans doing to ensure that ultimately taxpayer dollars, as you said, do not go to fund abortion on demand or health care plans that cover abortion? Well, those of us in the pro-life caucus are insisting that this language stay in the final legislation. And so we, we have very good language in there right now, and we continue to press to have that language in the bill. On the topic of life, you recently introduced legislation to overturn D.C.'s assisted suicide law. Congress failed to overturn the law. Ultimately, and D.C.'s law has gone into effect. But why did you think it was important to try and strike the assisted suicide law down? The, 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 the assisted suicide laws in this country fundamentally change the nature of the doctor-patient relationship. You know, people go to their doctor expecting to be affirmed, uh, looking for hope, uh, looking for ways to overcome sicknesses. Uh, very often people find a terminal diagnosis, they're looking for support, they want to make sure that there's going to be pain relief in case there's going to be pain. Uh, they should not have to worry about going to a doctor thinking that the doctor may write a prescription to help end their lives. Uh, this is a, a very serious issue. Uh, we, we have heard of stories, for example, in California where a woman was offered uh, to have the suicide drugs paid for, but not her chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, we think there's a, a bright line there and that we should not be allowing this kind of uh, uh, activity by doctors to help patients end, end their lives. Congressman, you are Catholic. Does your Catholic faith influence your work as a legislator, specifically when it comes to life? Uh, only to the extent that Catholics are called to serve. This is a, a, mm. a public service. Uh, I think when you look at pro-life issues, these are human rights. These are fundamental human rights that are articulated in our Declaration of Independence, They're rights that are given by a creator. Uh, we've had this as part of the fabric of, of our constitutional republic. Inalienable rights, rights to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, uh, protections in the Constitution against being deprived of your life without due process of law. Uh, uh, again, there are atheists for life, there are people who don't believe, there are all types of religions that, that take a stand against abortion because they realize that the unborn uh, is, a, is a person, is a human person entitled to protection uh, of fundamental rights. Representative Keith Rothfuss, thank you for joining us. It's good to be here. Thank you.